Bobby, aka Paginator, and we're here to discuss Sharkathon 2023. This is the announcement video for the Sharkathon Readathon that I will be hosting again this summer. This is my third Sharkathon Readathon. Um, it takes place during Shark Week. So, you probably know that Shark Week, um, it kind of shifts around as far as when it takes place during the summer. This year it's going to be July 11th through the 18th on the Discovery Channel or Discovery Plus. And I'm not affiliated with them in any way. This is just a readathon that I host in conjunction with Shark Week. As per usual, I will have links to documents, Google Forms, etc. in the description box below, as well as my contact information, etc. if you um, have questions, etc. Uh, whatever you need. Okay. So just FYI, I will be um, doing a Shark Week junk journal again, and um, I haven't started it yet because I've got a couple of other junk journal proje projects that I've been working on. Just finished up one for a swap, and i um, going to be mailing that out probably the day that this video uploads anyway. Um, and I've got um, my sister-in-law's birthday gift, one that I've finished. But anyway, we'll get to the Shark Week one soon. <laughs> I better because it's coming up quickly. All right, so let's talk about the rules, the prompts, all of that good stuff. So when you go to the things linked below, there's going to be a document that has um, a couple of links to the Google Forms in it and then the rules. So rule one, read as much or as little as you want during the readathon dates. This is very open, very whatever, you, however you want to do this. Okay. Um, rule two, yes, you can double up on prompts if you'd like to. So if you have a book that matches a couple of prompts instead of just one, go for it. Rule three, you can choose to follow the shark prompts or the mythological sea creature prompts or both. This is new this year. I always do shark themed prompts and that is going to continue, but I have a second set of prompts that are based on mythological sea creatures. So we're going to go through all of the prompts together here in a little bit and you'll be able to pick and choose what you want to do. Um, number four, a donation has been made in the name of the YouTube channel already. I chose Shark Angels this year. I looked up, um, highly rated shark or ocean-based charities, and this was on, um, a list as being very transparent, doing a lot of good work. So I chose Shark Angels and did adopt a whale shark in the name of the channel. And this one has an option for you to name your shark, and I named it Ronald Weasley. So again, you can choose to make a donation to a shark or ocean or literacy even charity of, of your choice in honor of this readathon. That's entirely up to you. No pressure. Uh, rule number five. The books you read may be shark or ocean related, but only those books that are will earn bonus points. Now, the past couple of years, I've had a point system where I've calculated a winner overall that got some kind of giveaway. Um, I'm still going to do a points system, but it's a secret point system. It's different than what I've done the past two years, and you don't know what it is. Just to mix things up and shake it up a little bit. Um, maybe keep some people on their toes. I don't know. Um, but points that are, or <laughs> books that are Ocean or Shark related earn bonus points in this secret point system. Number six. Um, you'll need to sign up with a unique username um, using the sign up Google form. So there's two Google forms affiliated with this readathon. First one's a sign up. Um, I need your username and an email address where I can contact you. If um, if I need to help you with something, or if you are the winner of the giveaway, for example, or you know there could be a couple of other reasons possibly where I might need to contact you. Um, number seven, track everything you read between July 11th and 18th on the tracking Google form. So that's the second Google form and it's going to ask you questions about the book that you read, how many pages does it have, um, is it ocean, ocean or shark related, I can't speak words today, etc. There are, I think, six questions on that one. Um, I will announce the special prize or giveaway, etc., at the end of the readathon on my channel. So make sure that you are subscribed and get the notification so that you know when that's coming. Um, and the last rule is have fun and happy Shark Week. I um, love 
watching Shark Week. I don't know why I love it so much exactly other than I think that sharks are amazing and I love nature documentaries and those kind of things. So it's just fun. Okay, let's get into the prompts. As I said, I have two sets of prompts this year. We're going to start with the shark themed prompts. I'm keeping one prompt from last year. Um, you might remember that my favorite shark is a whale shark. And so I'm going to keep the whale shark prompt. And that is to read a book in your favorite genre. This is my favorite shark. You choose your favorite genre and read a book in that genre. There will be seven prompts on both of these sets, just so you know. Um, and again, you can do as much or as little as you want. Next, we're going to go to the pajama shark. This is to read in your pajamas or comfy clothes for at least one hour. So it's not even a specific book. It's just a way to read. Number three, a mega mouth shark. Read a hyped book, one that everyone's talking about. It's highly hyped on booktube or book talk or bookstagram or wherever you get your book recommendations. Blue shark. Read a book with blue on the cover or you could even do ocean or water. Then we have a wabagong shark. Now these sharks are really uniquely patterned. They're, they're really cool to look at. Um, and if I've done a good job editing this video, there should be a picture of one right up here. Um, so for this one, read a book with an interesting cover. Next is Cat Shark. Read a book with an animal on the cover. This could be a real animal or a fantastical animal. For example, a griffin or dragon or, you know, back to real animals, it could be a whale or a puppy. You know what animals are. And then the last shark prompt is a pygmy shark. Read a short book, 200 pages or less. I know for me it's really hard to find anything under 100. And a lot of times it's hard to find stuff under 200. Um, so if you need to go slightly over, that's fine. And I even put that on the prompt list. You can go slightly over. That's okay. You use your best judgment, what you think works for that prompt. Are you ready for the next prompt list? As I said, this is about um, mythological sea creatures or f fantasy sea creatures, etc. Um, and so our first one is a mermaid. This one, read a book about mermaids or that is somehow ocean related. That would also help you get some bonus points for the secret point system. A Grindylo. Um, most of us know Grindylos from Harry Potter number four when they did the um, challenge where they had to swim in the lake and we saw Grindylos there. Grindylos are not pleasant looking creatures, so the prompt for this one is read a book that you think will be scary or that features a monster. Now we couldn't do a mythological sea creatures prompt set without the Kraken, right? Because release the Kraken. <laughs> I just keep hearing that in my head, um, but hearing Sheldon Cooper say it when he's talking about it in the Big Bang Theory. Anyway, um, for the Kraken, Read a book over 500 pages. If you don't know what a kraken is, where have you been, but it's basically a giant squid. It's a massive ship killer thing. Um, sometimes it's interpreted as an octopus more than a squid, but there you go. All right, this next one is Calypso. Now Calypso is a very specific creature from mythology, from Greek mythology. And she is a, a water sprite, but she's also very, like, captivating. And she's very similar to a siren, but she's not a siren, which we're going to get to in a little bit. Um, and I, whenever I hear the name Calypso, now I think of Calypso in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. She was amazing. An amazing character in that series. And in that movie where she's released. I don't want to like spoil things for anybody, but you, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, right? And so the idea behind this prompt is based on that version of Calypso. And so we're just going to pick a book featuring a female lead. Now I was originally going to make it like a strong, empowered female lead, but sometimes we don't know at the beginning of the book if the person is going to end up being strong and empowered. So we're just going to pick one with a female lead because girl pepper. All right, next up is Siren, and these are especially famous from the Tale of the Odyssey. These 
beautiful women that sing and entrance these men and they kind of trap them. Um, so for a siren, I want you to read a book that has a beautiful cover that draws you in. The cover like pulls you into it. So like calling your name almost. Okay, so a Kelpie, this is a very fierce water creature. It's kind of a horse-ish creature. And for this one, read a book related to mythology, fairy tales, or urban legends. So that is quite a broad spectrum. I'm sure there are lots of different books you could find that would fit in that category. So last one is Selkie, and this is um, part seal, part human, if I remember correctly. Um, and in the story of the Selkie, he falls in love with a human woman, but he can't be with her because she is human and he's has to stay in the sea stuff. So for this one, read a book that features love in some way. So that could be romantic love, family love, friendship love, whatever kind of love you want to read about. Okay, so that's all the prompts. Um, again, this readathon is going to run from July 11th to the 18th. So the Google form where you log your books will not open until the 11th, but the sign up is open now and will continue. Um, the Google form will open on the 11th and close um, at midnight my time, which is Mountain Standard Time on the 18th. So um, after I tally the winners with my secret point system, I will do a giveaway probably in the next couple of days following up. It largely depends on my schedule at that time because summer's crazy busy and my family likes to spring things on me without telling me what's going on. So <laughs> let's hope that it doesn't take too long to get that figured out. Anyway, I am really excited for this one. I still haven't decided which prompt set I'm going to use. I need to like, I might pick and choose from both. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. Which prompt set are you more excited for? Um, are you going to pick and choose from both? Um, and please join us for Sharkathon. Again, you can only read one book if you want to, or half a book, or seven books, or whatever you want to do. So it's very chill, very relaxed, just like a shark, or just kind of cruising along. So please join us, and I'll see you in the next video. For now, have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.